What's up everybody and happy Friday, September the 24th. I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been really busy. As you can see, I'm in a new location. I moved into an office location. The baby is growing, he is doing well. But I wanna to speak to you today about a wealth tactic that you need to implement in your life today. And I'm gonna give you the differences between the Roth 401k and the Roth IRA and give you why I think you should be implementing both of those. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida, with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel or seeing one of my videos, I ask that you please, please hit that like button, smash the thumbs up for me. Also, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get an update each time I post a new video about all things financial. So today's video is going to be pretty quick, but it's going to be very impactful for you, for your retirement, for that successful lifestyle that you want to live in the future. So when you're thinking about retirement, most of us usually look at a, a, a retirement account such as an IRA or the 401k, 403b, 401a, those things at our job, the 457 plans. Those are all great avenues that you should be using to push your retirement um, forward now so that when you get to those golden years, you're able to relax in that beautiful house, ride that yacht on the ocean, and really enjoy your life. However, those investment vehicles will require you to pay taxes on them in the future because it's pre-tax money right now. So I'm gonna give you the benefits of the Roth IRA and the Roth 401k. Many people don't realize that you can have a Roth option to your 401k plan at work. now. Every employer does not employ that in that retirement trust that you may have at your employer, but oftentimes they do. And you may not see it on the website, so you may have to call your HR department to say, hey, do we have a Roth option to our 401k plan? And how can I invest in that option? So I'm gonna give you the nuances and the three differences between the Roth 401k and the Roth IRA. Before we jump into that, I want everyone to understand where we are in our economy with the amount of stimulus that we've received and um, just the overall debt level. It's very possible that we will see higher taxes and higher inflation in the future. And that may be in the intermediate 10, 15, and 20 years from now. So if you're looking to retire in that time frame, you need to really prepare and start using your Roth option so that you can have tax-free money when you go into retirement. So the first major difference between the Roth IRA and the Roth 401k has to do with your contributions. So going into an IRA, there is a contribution limit for 2021 of $6,000. You have that additional $1,000 in ramp up, which will give you a total of $7,000 that you can put away in a Roth IRA account. That's very great. However, the contribution limit is much, much higher when you're looking into a Roth 401k. So you currently can put away 19,000 into your Roth 401k account every year. And again, if you're over the age of 50, you get that step up privilege where you can add an additional $6,500. So that brings you to the grand total of $26,000 that you can put away in your Roth 401k as opposed to the Roth IRA. That is a significant benefit. The next difference between the Roth 401k and the Roth IRA has to do with the income that you currently make right now. So if your income level is too high, you are uneligible, or you should say ineligible, to be able to invest in a Roth IRA. However, there is no restriction when it comes to a Roth 401k. So you could clip that level um, for married couples as $208,000. If you're making more than that married filing jointly, you're ineligible of being able to contribute to a Roth IRA. However, if you and your spouse both have a Roth 401k option, there is no limitation for you to do that. And you are able to, to go ahead and max out that Roth 401k. So for those of you that are single out there in the year 2021, 
once you get to a hundred and twenty five thousand and one dollar it starts to phase down the amount that you can put into a Roth IRA once you um, reach the hundred and forty thousand um, dollar mark for your annual annual salary you can no longer contribute to a Roth IRA the last thing that I want to mention to everyone today is that when you're using a Roth IRA you have no required minimum distribution so we all know that when we get to the age of 72, which has recently changed because of the SECURE Act from 70 and a half to 72, there is an RMD, a required minimum distribution that we're required to take from our retirement accounts because we've never essentially paid a tax on that previously in the past. Because the Roth IRA is pre-tax or post-tax dollars going into this account, you don't have that RMD requirement when you're pulling money out at retirement age from the Roth IRA. However, there is a nuance for the Roth 401k. If the money is still in that Roth 401k account at the time of retirement and you reach age 72 as it currently is right now, you will be hit with a required minimal distribution, the RMD, on those Roth 401k funds. So I encourage everyone out there that if you once you do employ that Roth 401k account, make sure that you transfer those funds and roll it over to a Roth IRA um, before you reach the age of 72 so that you can af abate and, and pretty much prevent yourself from having to pay that required minimum distribution every year on both your tax deferred and your tax free uh, retirement accounts. If you have any questions about retirement, estate planning, about investing, or anything of that nature, please leave a comment below in this video. Let me know if this video was helpful to you by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Also, if you have any questions, please email me directly at investments at warwickshore.com. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.